in this video we will cover production function so a firm's production function for a particular good that it produces shows the maximum amount of the good that can be produced using alternative combinations of inputs so basically production function is showing me that whatever inputs i am having so given those inputs what maximum output of a particular good that i am producing i can achieve so the maximum level that i can achieve or the maximum level of output that and that i can achieve using the given input is shown by the production function so usually the inputs are capital and labor so here i am denoting capital with a k and labor with l and q is the good that i am producing so production function is the relationship between input used and output gained so this is production function so the q the output is dependent on inputs so output is function of inputs k and l marginal physical product so to study variation in a single input we define marginal physical product as the additional output that can be produced by employing one more unit of that input while holding other inputs constant so if i am interested in knowing the marginal physical product of labor this shows me what change i'll get in the total output when i'll employ one more unit of labor so how output will change when i employ one more unit of labor is shown by marginal physical product and of course this change is calculated assuming that capital the amount of capital that is employed is constant so keeping capital constant what change i'll get in total output when i employ one more unit of labor is marginal product of labor diminishing marginal productivity the marginal physical product of an input depends on how much of that input is used and in general we assume a diminishing marginal productivity this means that marginal product of any input is diminishing as we will keep employing one more one more unit of that input suppose labor if i keep employing labor one unit of labor i keep employing additional units of labor keeping capital constant the productivity of labor will decline or the marginal product of labor will keep declining and mathematically this means that second derivatives of production function with respect to that input is negative so this is diminishing marginal productivity for labor and this is diminishing marginal productivity for capital the second derivatives are negative now because of this diminishing marginal productivity thomas malthus was worried that if population will keep on growing then labor productivity will reduce but a thing that is need to be kept in mind is that marginal productivity of labor over time also depends on changes in the other input that is capital so if i am employing more labor and the capital is also progressing or technology is improving then marginal productivity may not diminish at that fast rate or may not diminish at all or may rise also so this is the case like if i am employing more people and i'm also upgrading my technology then marginal productivity for those new laborers or new workers will not decline what is average physical product labor productivity is often measured by average productivity so as the name suggests it is the average output from an input the average output that an input is giving me is average productivity of that input so apl is average productivity for labor it is defined as output per labor output divided by labor input or labor employed this is average output of labor 
now apl also depends on the amount of capital employed similarly just like the mpl margin productivity depends on capital average productivity also depends on the capital employed after all these two units are always used in the production function and if i am taking average and i am taking that production function into my equation then k is also there now let us look at a two input production function and solve for these variables that we just studied so suppose the production function for some form can be represented as 600 k square l square minus k cube l cube this is the production function for my given form now to construct mpl apl we must assume a value of for k okay so if i want to calculate margin productivity for labor and average productivity for labor then i need to keep capital constant so i need to have some value for that capital so suppose i have this given unit of k so k is constant and it is 10 so we will not change k and k will remain 10 for solving margin productivity for labor average productivity for labor a labor i'll keep the capital constant at 10 the production function is now converted into q is equal to 60000 n square minus 1000 l cube as i have replaced k in the equation with 10 and this is what i got after substituting 10 in place of k now the margin productivity function is this so basically the first derivative of our production function with respect to labor is mpl the marginal productivity i have taken the derivative of this function now this function shows that the mpl diminishes as l increases so l as l will increase here we have square so more amount is subtracted so this whole function or the value will diminish as l will increase so this is diminishing marginal productivity this implies that q has a maximum value of 40 we will solve this marginal productivity equation to find the maximum optimum value for labor so after solving this equation after solving this equation i got that l should be 40 the uh, uh, l should be 40 if labor input is beyond 40 then this will reduce the output diminishes uh, productivity now if i need to find the average productivity of the labor in the same context with the same production function keeping the capital constant at 10 the average productivity is given by l uh, q divided by l so this is our average productivity equation average average productivity for labor equation average productivity for labor reaches its maximum where l is 30 if i'll solve this equation uh, putting it equal to 0 then i'll get that the oh sorry uh, not putting it equal to 0 when i'll take the derivative for this uh, equation i'll get the maximum amount okay i'm basically i'm keeping the first derivative of this average productivity constant so i am just taking derivative of this function apl with respect to l and keeping the first derivative equal to 0 what the value i'll get is the maximum value so here i am getting l is equal to 30 which is the maximum value for labor average productivity so the average productivity function which is its maximum at l is equal to 30 so if we will solve these two functions then we will get if l is 30 both apl and mpl are equal to 9 lakh or 900000 thus this proves that when apl average productivity is at its maximum apl that is average productivity and mpl that is marginal productivity are equal so as we have got that average productivity uh, the average productivity equation gave us l is equal to 30 so average productivity is maximum at l is equal to 30 and we have to prove to prove that at 
maximum of ap that is when average productivity is at its maximum point marginal productivity and average productivity of labor are equal for this i'll put l is equal to 30 in apl equation and also in mpl equation and when i'll solve that i'll get 900000 for both so this means that both are equal at the point where apl that is average productivity of labor is maximum so this was a short video on production function and its related concept we'll start with isoquants in our next lecture thank you